You are taking people's money. You are making people suffer. And God will judge all of you. You bloody f politician. Don't trust all these politicians. But let me tell you something. I think the bills, all the bills the Senate are supposed to be passing right now is how to pay the police force very well. Hello, excellent family, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is No, yeah, and I'm a Nigerian content creator living in Lagos, Nigeria. Thank you so much for finding time to join me on today's video. If it's your first time here, hi, welcome to my channel. Please take a moment to click on the subscribe button. Make sure you have the notification bell turned, and that way you will get notified when I drop my next content. And to my returning subscribers, you know that I'm super excited to always have you join me every time thank you so much for the love and for the support so i've said earlier that i'm a nigerian and a lot is happening in my country and if i do not make a sit down video to address this issue or to lend my voice using my channel i think that would not be kind of me or nice of me or that would be insensitive of me as somebody living and working in lagos nigeria so that's why i'm using this opportunity so so sit back relax and let's get on with this video <music> the hashtag and SARS and police brutality no more SARS, SARS must go and then now it's hashtag and SWAT so a lot has been happening I posted random videos of some of the protests that have been going on in Lagos and especially the one that had happened in Lekki Lagos Nigeria so let's start from the very beginning because that's a very good place to start so SARS in Nigeria for those that are not Nigerian there is a special anti-robbery squad that was set up by the federal government to help fight robbery in Nigeria but then people noticed not too long ago a few years back that there's a trend with this group of people they arrest young people that are dressed in some kind of way ways and quotes that people think that aren't decent or societally acceptable they believe that these guys who dress in this person in this kind of way may be or are criminal so they conclude by their look so they stop guys randomly check them search them especially if they have devices on, on them or they have very expensive mobile devices they want to stop them and ask questions and check through these mobile devices with no form of courtesy so and most times they get very brutal and batter about this situation and then they hit some of these boys and they stop some of them they take some of them to the ATM machine at gunpoint and make them withdraw a huge amount of money and they take this money from them the very unlucky one the very unfortunate ones have been killed is that bad so people started noticing this trend they say wait especially those who are innocent you get those who are innocent they say i just went about my business and then these people stopped me and they, they harassed me and asked me to tell them who I, who I am i was able to identify myself they were not satisfied they reached out to me they hit me and then they collected the money from me seized my devices in some cases see some of these children's cars or young boys cars and then people are like this shouldn't be happening we can't pay tax and pay people to protect us and then these are the same people harassing us so i think a recent happening occurred in a state in nigeria that blew up this whole hashtag and start so young people especially came out to say enough is enough sas has to go sas has to end prior to now they've said we form it do something about it we train them check their psychological and mental state let's know what's up with these people but now people are saying we don't even want a reformation please end sas and so protests started all across nigeria and it's gone all over Nigeria, and a lot of young people are joining in the protest. Interestingly, these protests have been peaceful largely, except for in some situation where some young people were killed in a particular government area in Lagos State. So these young people are demanding for the police who shot at this guy, at the police who killed this guy, and for two young people, two young women who were also arrested or taken away. So a lot of people are saying that these things are not right. Let everybody come out to talk about it, to say that it's truly not right. So 
I'm lending my voice to say stop this. This has to stop. Then intelligently, young people are also looking at this from another perspective, and that really caught my attention. They're saying that how can you pay police people meagerly and you expect them to give their best? That does not work. Now, most of these police officers don't look well taken care of. If you see an average police officer on the road, a police officer on the road in Lagos, Nigeria, or in Nigeria generally, you your eye would drop a tear because of how they look and how they're not well taken care of their salaries nothing to write them about the police barracks don't look well their condition of living don't look good now you tell people who are not well trained who are not well equipped people who are not well remunerated to protect the lives of the people please answer this question how can this thing be i was watching tv and, and this very intelligent um doctor Malou was analyzing the issue of the police and the condition and the things that he thinks should be done then he was analyzing that the gun that is supposed to be an object of attack or offense is now has now become an object of, of defense right the police are not effectively giving defensive weapons what, what i mean by that is you know we have about 400,000 police officers give or take but in the new bench of nigerian police we have less than 15,000 bulletproof vests mm -hmm. so which means only the very few of them that got the big people have the bulletproof vests so the average policeman on the street doesn't have any protection mm -hmm. so the gun that's given to him that's supposed to be purely for the, uh, for offensive it's not just for both offensive and defensive you know that our emergency response is kind of slow if a policeman gets gunned down or shot at who is going to rescue him immediately? There's no helicopter that is going to come immediately to pick up a police officer. The roads are bad. No ambulance will come and pick him immediately. If he falls to the ground or if he gets hit by bullet or if he gets hit or somebody stabs him, that's the end of the police. So an average police is also very afraid of his own life too. And he's wondering. So if you come at a policeman with a knife, he's ready to fire it because he has to protect himself. Now, the condition of some of their tools can bring tears to your eyes. I've seen a picture that was posted of how these guns were used, were held and supported with rubber bands. Come on, what country does that? So people are now changing the whole end, end size to end police brutality. Now there's an attack on the government. You see, the politicians are not doing the right thing. The politicians are too corrupt. That no longer is in Nigeria. Corruption is something that's eating to the fabric of politicians in Nigeria and they know it themselves. You are taking people's money. You are making people People so far, and God will judge all of you, you bloody fucking politician. Don't trust all these politicians. All of you are fucking thieves, thieves, thieves. Only, only on my judging on who you need to. So recently, we saw in the news some of their earnings. They have all manner of crazy allowances worth millions of naira. They have furniture allowances, newspaper allowances. What kind of a country is this? Now, the, the politicians earn so much, the lawmakers earn so much, and then the people who are supposed to protect and take care of lives do not earn well. But let me tell you something. I think the bills, all the bills the Senate are supposed to be passing right now is how to pay the police force very well. People are coming out to say, pay police officers as well, pay teachers as well, pay doctors as well, pay nurses as well, pay people who take care of lives very well. So that's more like a hashtag now. Let's pay these people, let's take care of them, let's take care of their welfare, let's work on their retirement, let's work on their living condition. Maybe they, they're going to behave better. And then there's this call out now to all Nigerians to say, maybe you should also be nice to an average policeman. On, only to the fact that you understand that these people are not in good condition. If you see them on the road and they stop you harshly, just first of all, understand from the point of view that these guys are also very upset at their own condition. Can you also start, start stop by saying, Hi, officer, how are you today? Now, don't chop. How body? This one are they for inside some things? How far? Do you get just be kind to them also? To just see from their perspective. The Nigerians need to begin to respect the police officers more. But when you meet a police officer, he's been standing in the sun for several hours, carrying the on, he winds and you know, you don't, you know, good afternoon, sir, how are you doing, you know? Now, can you imagine going into a police station and there is no stationery? You want to write a statement, they tell you to go buy paper, buy a pen, they have a few that gen gen generator. Now you all understand that there's erratic power supply in Nigeria, the power supply in Nigeria is obviously not constant. And then they want to fuel their generator, fuel the car, do all of these things without proper support from the government. That is specific of them. Now, do you believe that some of these police officers are not even well trained? Hmm. 
Now, some of them were saying that the training that they've had in police college, that's all the training that they've had. So somebody who has been in the force for seven, eight, nine, ten years has no new training. And all the training that he has is the training that he had in the police college. So some people are supposed to come up with certain amount of money to support their training and then no training is done for these people. They're given weapons, they're not trained on how to hold this weapon. New vehicles are given to them, they're not trained on how to manage these things. Now, new, new guns are given out, they're not well trained, they're not well equipped. The training you had seven years ago, that's the same training you're going to use for this new, new device. Come on, how does that work? And that's why you hear a lot of accidental discharge, accidental discharge, mistake by the police. That's because some of them are not even well trained mentally, psychologically, emotionally, physically, financially. They are not well trained. So you see that it's a vicious circle and something that is bringing all of us a ripple effect. And we're seeing the effect of that now in our country. So we're coming out to say, wherever you are, whomever you are, it's time we all got up to begin to support this nation, to begin to see that things change in Nigeria. Enough is enough. And now the shout and the anger has been transferred on the leaders. And I agree 100% that these are the people who should receive all of our grievances, all of our annoyances. So if you're watching this video and you have not done any form of hashtag to say NSAT, if you cannot go out physically, please use whatever platform that you have to please shout out, let people understand, let the government know that we're serious, young people are serious, young Nigerians are serious. But a lot of people have lost their family members to police brutality. And that's why we're saying enough is enough. So please join in the first, join in this if you're youtuber watching this content and you have not done anything that has to do with hashtag end SARS or hashtag end police brutality or you've not done anything concerning the trend that is come currently going on please i challenge you to go about and mass use all your social media handles that you can use to please help join to let the whole world know that we're serious about this and enough is enough in nigeria and i know that in less than no time if you join and if we join hands if we come together and we form a formidable force we would be able to deal with this situation that's plaguing us as a nation thank you so much for finding time to watch this video i love you so much and i hope that i get to see you in my next video until then please be safe and be kind one nigeria love to you all bye for now if you are new to my channel click on the subscribe button tap on the notification bell like it comment and share thank you